channel this is your girl Jocelyn and today I'm gonna to be a tourist in my states this is the Brandywine Park behind me or I'm in the Brandywine Park and that's the Brandywine River that's behind me so it's right in the heart of the city of Wilmington there's neighborhoods that surround it it just cuts right through our little city and we actually have a little zoo and they recently had a update where they had a, a lemur exhibit so we're gonna stop by and see some of the lemurs and see what other animals they have. I have not been to the zoo since, probably since I was little, like uh, elementary school age. So um, yeah, it's, an, it's just a little adventure. Um, there's free parking. It's $7 for adults. It's five dollars for seniors and kids age three to seventeen, and it's for uh, kids zero to two. It is free. So come, come explore with me. Hi guys, I just wanted to come back and give you my thoughts of the zoo. I thought it was a cute little visit there. 
they had some animals that I did not expect to see. Um, I think it's a great little visit for a little kid, a great date night, or just hanging out with the family. The zoo is open from 10 to 4 every day. Um, and in researching when I got home, I realized that it's been 115 years since the zoo's been around. Um, they are complete with phase two, which included a Mas Madagascar um, area. And they're going to be working on phase three, which is going to include a new entryway, um, South American wetlands habitat, which will include flamingo, sloth, and the pudu that you see here. Um, they're also going to bring back a otter habitat, which I didn't realize they had before, but they're going to bring it back. It sounds great. And it looks like they have um, some programs for kids. And they also have like an adult kind of program where you can bring your kids. It's called Sip and Stroll, where you can have adult beverages, which sounds cool. Um, also, which I didn't get to film, was they have two toucans where the poodles are. Um, they hid from me when I came up, but they looked amazing when I first saw them. They also have a petting zoo area, which they have the Delaware Blue Hen. They have um, some goats and some like other type of chickens or something. Um, but yeah, the only thing I would work on for the zoo is um, the gift shop. Usually when I go to museums, other zoos or aquariums, I love to go to the gift shop and see like cute little items they have. Um, I mostly saw like stuffed animals and they had a lot of snake stuffed animals. And of course, you know, I wasn't there for that. So I had to go. And um, they have clean bathrooms and they have like a little snack area. I didn't really go over there to look to see what they had. But this is a zoo where you would be probably better to pack your lunch. They do have a sitting area where you can eat and you can also eat outside the um, entrance where there's like a nice little grassy area. And they also have picnic tables over there um, next to the parking lot. So if you have a chance to come check out the Brandywine Zoo, come check it out and have a great time. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.